Hello everyone and welcome to IT Knowledge Base. In this short video lecture, I would like to discuss subdomain enumeration tools and techniques with Xsub Finder, which is a small utility to find or extract the subdomains. Passive subdomain enumeration is performed by using publicly available data, such as search engine results, querying DNS records on DNS servers, and so on. This data is typically collected automatically and no interaction is required with the target domain. Subdomains can be used for a variety of purposes, such as to host a blog, an e-commerce website, or even an entirely different website from the root domain. Subdomains are often used to segregate different services or functionalities within an organization. This could be very crucial when you are performing passive information gathering during your penetration testing and IT audits. XSub Finder is a command line interface or CLI utility to find the domains known subdomains from curated passive online sources. The XSub Finder is competent enough to fetch the domains from curated passive sources to maximize results. Also support STDIN and STD out for easy integration into workflows. You can install it on cross-platform like on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Installation is pretty straight. First visit the URL and find the appropriate archive for your operating system and architecture. Download the archive from your browser or copy its URL and retrieve it with wget or cull command. You could also install it in the Windows operating systems as well. But in this example, I am using Kali Linux and I should switch my directory to my preferred location, which is tools. And I would go with wget and paste the appropriate archive URL and hit enter to start download the archive. Now extract the downloaded archive. Optionally, move the XSub Finder binary to somewhere in your path to run this utility from anywhere in the Linux. XSub Finder will work right after the installation. However, other search engines are also required API keys. The API keys are stored in the config.yaml file at this location. At your home folder, cd.heuristic XSub Domain Finder config.yaml file. This file will be created upon the first run and use the YAML format. All these are required API keys except the URL scan which also support API keys but is not required. Multiple API keys can be specified for each of these sources from which one of them will be used. Usage is also very straight. Navigate to XSub Finder folder is optional. Hence, we already added to the path, so we can run this command from anywhere. To display a help message for XSub Finder, use the dash "-h flag". And we will definitely use dash "-d", to find the subdomain for our target. In this example, nmap.org is our preferred target, and hit enter. Now wait for the result, it should extract all the subdomains. Now let's conclude the stuff, and that's it. That should give you a good idea and a fleeting explanation is how to extract subdomains. There are various other options to go with but I like it personally because of its results. There are further coming to learn the internal and external network security. Alright, that is all for the now. If you want to see more awesome training content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click it so you don't miss it. Or if you have any issues or questions, you can reach out to me and I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you.